Hi, welcome back. Now we are going to look at how we are going to draw a quadrilateral which is simply a four-sided figure. Alright, so before that, get all your equipment ready. Prepare your compass. Put the pencil through on level ground and screw the nut tight. Alright, so here, let's start off with the first information that we are given. We are supposed to draw W, X, Y, Z. And I'm given that WX equals to 6 cm. So I always start with drawing a straight line with my ruler. Okay, based on the first length that is given. So WX 6 cm. Alright, so I'm labeling it WX 6 cm. Now, next piece of info given. Angle Z WX is 100 degrees. So again, when you're given three letters to describe an angle, you zoom in to the middle letter. Again, since it is an angle, I'm going to use a protractor to draw it. Okay, this was done using a ruler as the first step. So next step, using a protractor, this is the angle at point W. So I'm going to place my protractor at W. Alright, like this. Make sure you read the correct set of numbers. Read the set of numbers where this line points towards zero. So I'm going to follow only the inner set of numbers. 100 degrees. So this is where it is. 100 degrees. I'm going to use my ruler to join this angle point to point W. And that is how I'll have my 100 degrees. Okay, so I've done my second information. Now, I'm going to draw WZ 8.5 cm. So again, very important here, only the first length can be drawn using a ruler to be measured. All other lengths given after the first length, you need to make sure you use your compass. Alright, you cannot simply use your ruler to measure 8.5 cm. You have to use your compass to draw a curve. Alright, so I'm going to use a compass here, opening it to 8.5 cm. Right, 8.5 cm over here. Okay, and then after every time after you have opened the compass to the length you want, you have to then decide where am I going to place my needle at. This is for WZ, so I'm going to place it at point W. Right, and I'm going to draw my curve, 8.5 cm curve. Now, what you notice here is that my curve doesn't meet my 100 degrees angle line. Okay, in order for me to locate this point Z, I need to make sure they meet. So how can I make them meet each other? Very simple. Just take a ruler to extend this angle line that you have just drawn. Okay, I'm going to draw it longer. And now they meet. So this meeting point between the curve and the line is where point Z is. Okay, it's important to note point Z is over here. Point Z is not where your line ends, okay? It is where the curve and the line meets. So this is where point Z is, all right? And WZ, as we have drawn using our compass just now, is 8.5 cm. Okay, next information that we have, X, Y, 7 cm. So again, this is a length. I have to use a compass to draw my 7 cm for X, Y. All right, so I'm going to open my compass to 7 cm right 7 cm for x y so decide where to place my needle this is for x y so i'm going to place the needle at x right and i'm going to draw a curve please make sure you remember not to erase all these curves that you have drawn it will count towards the working for drawing your quadrilateral Alright, so this is done. We are left with one more information, angle WXY to be 95 degrees. So again, angle, zoom in to the middle letter. So this would be the angle at X. Angles will be drawn using protractor. So place your protractor at X, at point X over here. Alright, and you're supposed to draw 95 degrees. Okay, again, the trick here is to make sure you read the correct set of numbers. Okay, this starting line here 
has to point to 0. So the scale that points to 0 on this line is your outer scale. So to draw my 95 degrees, I'm going to follow my outer set of numbers. I ignore the numbers inside. Okay, so I'm going to look at 95 degrees is 90, is 100, in the middle is where 95 is. Alright, so 95 is over here. I'm going to use my ruler to join this point to X. Alright, so here I see another meeting point between this curve and this line that I've drawn for 95 degrees. And just now, okay, I've drawn this curve. Likewise, I have Wx, I have Z, I'm missing Y. So where is Y? It is where this curve and this line meets each other. So this point here where they meet is point Y. Again, take note, point Y is not on top. Okay, it's not where your line stops, it is where the curve and the line meets. So this is point Y. Okay, I'm just going to add on the labels that I haven't written in, x, y, 7 cm, so this is 7 cm. Alright, so I should see a four-sided shape at the end, okay, but obviously this looks like it only has three sides. I have to give it a fourth side, and that is by connecting point y to point z. Okay, like I've emphasized just now, y is where this curve and the line meets over here. z is over here as well. So you do not join it this way. Okay, this is a wrong way of joining your point Z to point Y because these two points are not where Z and Y are at. Okay, it is over here and here. So you have to join Y to Z correctly at the right places. Okay, make sure you position your ruler at the right place first before you join them together. Okay, and that will give you your quadrilateral W, X, Y, Z. Do a quick check that your curves are not erased and that all the labels are given. W, X, 6 cm, angle W, 100, W, Z, 8.5, X, Y, 7, angle X, 95 degrees. Okay, so we have labeled everything. So that will be how you would draw a quadrilateral given information in the question. Thank you.